Dear colleague of Korea, today uh, I'm honored to have the opportunity to introduce emergency operation in Taiwan, especially when we have typhoon or torrential rain. First of all, let me explain about the framework of the, our disaster management system in Taiwan, especially at the central government level. Actually, at uh, our executive and cabinet level, we have the Office of Disaster Management in charge of coordination among government agency. Of course, in case of typhoon, earthquake, or torrential rain, we will have operation in the Central Emergency Operating Center. And all the ministries here have to join operation. And my office, National Science and Technology for Disaster Reduction, we also have the role to support scientific consultation to the central government. In case of emergency, we also have joined the operation provide a lot of scientific advice for emergency operation. And authority of my office is the Ministry of Science and Technology. That is a very unique design in our system. And this is where we have operation in Taiwan, especially as central government when we have the big event. The third and fourth floor is the Central Emergency Operating Center. And the fifth floor is Office of Disaster Management under the cabinet level. And the six to eight is the National Fire Agency. And my office is in the same building located in ninth floor. So in case of any emergency like earthquake or typhoon, we will operate here, third and fourth floor. 24 hours a day. <clears throat> this is the overview of the EOC in Taiwan. And the most important thing, how we operate in the EOC. This is the framework of Emergency Operating Center. Actually, the idea is based on the emergency support function. The idea is from the FEMA. And NCDR lead one group here. This is about a diagram how NCDI have teamwork with other government agency in case of emergency. Actually, NCDI is convener of this group, Situation Assessment Group. This group actually is the brand of Emergency Operating Center. Especially in case of typhoon, we provide a lot of information before the typhoon met a landfall. So in the group, NCDI we co-work with the Water Resource Agency and National Fire Agency a highway bureau, so in the Water Conservation Bureau, and the Central Weather Bureau, and Disaster Management, Office of Disaster Management. Kind of configuration is try to provide comprehensive and integrated suggestion to the commander in the EOC. So what is the major function in that group? Actually, we try to use science and technology to provide some answer and the physical solution to emergency responder in case of typhoon. Probably we have two kinds of impact. First, about storm surge, another one is about torrential rain. For storm surge, we could have wind damage, storm surge, uh, <clears throat> floods, landslide, or mass slide. So very important thing, if we have to deploy some troops in advance to help possibly affect the area, or we have to conduct some early evacuation or to deploy some public station in case of flood. We need some evidence-based suggestion. So in that case, my office have teamwork with a lot of government agency. We try to answer where, when, scale, and scope of impact. Based on this, we kind of a product line. <clears throat> From scientific output, we can have cross-casting synergy among the agency I list in the previous slide. And the most important thing, we carry out a lot in time operation. This is the typical step if we have typhoon. Uh, principally, we divide into four phases. Phases one, activate our operation, especially when the Central Weather Bureau issue a seed warning, we will start the operation in the EOC. Later is the Phase two, pre-disaster preparedness, especially when we receive land warning 
depend on the movement of typhoon and the emergency response and the quick recovery. At a different phase, we will provide different suggestion to the EOC. This is a recent case, a typhoon uh, Nisat made the landfall in Taiwan in uh, this July. Of course, uncertainty is very challenging thing. So when we identify the possible pathways of typhoon, we will identify input from different country. One prediction actually is from KMA, Korea. And most important thing first, we try to highlight possible wind impact. So based on the predicted impact, we will identify the area to receive high winds. So that is the first information. Second thing, we have identified possible rain impacts. So it depends on the typhoon was approaching to Taiwan during the period of landfall or leaving Taiwan, we will offer the different information based on the different phase of typhoon's movement. Like this one, as typhoon was approaching to Taiwan, we will urge eastern part of Taiwan be cautioned for the torrential rain during a landfall time, maybe in the whole southern part should be prepared for a torrential rain. At the living stage, only the southern mountainous area had be alert for the uh, torrential rain. In another one about storm surge, we also use numerical model plus real-time monitoring data to provide correct information about storm surge, especially during the high tide a period of time we have, we should provide warning around Taiwan about possible storm surge impact. Another one is about the, the flood. <clears throat> as I explained, we will provide the precipitation estimation based on the different phase of typhoon movement. So likewise, about, about the uh, factor, <clears throat> time dependent factor, about the flood risk, we also will highlight when the typhoon approaching or at the landfall stage, which area should be uh, alert, should be uh, cautious about the, the uh, flood, and at the living stage, like this area, especially the red area is the high risk area. Another very important thing we have to remind commander about the landslide. So based on the battles or past event, we will use this chart to remind possible area to have landslide and also about road interruption. A very important thing under the EOC, we emphasize information integration and how we make use of this data to produce information for action. So currently, when we have any operation, actually we will use the data from the 20 government agency. The total amount of data is the 200 more big data sets. We try to offer kind of interface to bridge the information gap between the local and central government. Right now, <clears throat> all local government and central government will use this kind of the uh, wave GIS the, uh, system to understand the situation. We call it a common operating pictures. And very important, how we communicate with commander in CO EOC to make decision. We'll use the GIS location, highlight the rigs, plus real-time monitor data and real-time video to show the real situation. And we also use the historical data, observed data, numerical model, and the decision to take the right time to evacuate people. For this case, we identify the possible time to reach a stretch of value could be at midnight. So we use this model to adjust the time to evacuate people at in the afternoon. And also about the flood, we also use observed data and numerical data to highlight the period could have the flood in mountainous area. And another very important factor, we also use a lot of ICT tour to disseminate alert to the general public. For example, we use the Google system to disseminate alert to our citizens. Like only last year, the total number 
of accessing Google service is around 21 million. In the last slide, I will try to explain how Taiwan make the best use of science and technology to respond to typhoon or torrential rain. First thing is about scientific prediction. We use a lot of the scientific model plus a lot of experience. We try to provide some estimation of the impact. But the problem is the <clears throat> limits of the technology development. We don't have perfect model. So we have more element to fix the problem. It's real-time monitoring. We use a lot of the live big data to help to verify and upgrade the scientific prediction. But the problem is number of sensors and the transmission quality at the time of emergency. Another very important thing is in time operation. If scientific model tells us something could happen, in the real time monitoring, we observe something happening. So it's time we take action. So I summarize key elements to succeed in any operation. First is integration of everything, like natural sciences, social science, engineering, ICT, a lot of things. And most important thing, we have to always pay attention to emerging technology to solve our current problem. Thanks for your time and thank you for your time to listen to my sharing. Thank you.